Hi, this is Brian with MWater. In this lesson, we're going to go through in detail how to manage survey responses. This includes saving survey responses to draft, deleting survey responses, completing draft survey responses, modifying submitted survey responses, and correcting a rejected survey response. Let's get started. From the homepage of the MWater Surveyor app, I can click on the Tasks tab to see all my survey responses. At the top, we can see the Start a Survey button, which we've already discussed in a previous lesson. The Draft section will show all surveys that were drafted by clicking the Save for Later button. I can see the first draft uses the survey form MWater Training Participant Survey, and the draft name is St. Pierre. It was changed most recently today at 6.01 p.m. By clicking on the survey response, I can open it up and I can complete the part that was missing. So for example, I'm going to go to the next page, next, and it looks like I was missing the nearest water point question. I'm going to fill in that information and then go to the end of the survey. If I click the Save for Later button, this will save the survey to draft again. If I click the Submit button, this will complete the survey and send it to the MWater Cloud. Drafts are especially important when a user is not able to fully complete a survey at the current time. An example of this is when doing water quality testing. Some tests take 48 hours to incubate, so the survey has to be saved for later and results have to be entered after 48 hours. At any point, if I would like to delete the response, I can simply click on the discard button. It's important to note that users should be very careful with this button because data deleted in this way cannot be recovered. I'm going to click Submit because I've now completed my draft survey. The survey will say Submitted Successfully, and it will now appear under the Recently Completed Surveys section. Once synced, this data will then be uploaded to the MWater Cloud for approvals by the survey administrator. If the survey administrator has activated approvals, this survey will still be in pending status until the manager approves or rejects the survey response. If the survey response is rejected, it will be sent back to the enumerator and be shown in the Rejected section of the Tasks page. Each rejected survey response shows the name of the survey used, MWater Training Participant Survey, the name of the draft, Bohawk National School, the person who rejected it, Brian Jensen, and the reason it was rejected. GPS was left blank. Okay, now I'm going to correct this survey by clicking on it and navigating to the GPS question that had an error. I'm going to click the Next button to find the GPS question. Where did you come from today? I'm going to click the Current Location button and wait for the GPS to get a good signal. Once this is completed, I'm going to go to the bottom of the survey and click Submit. This will take me to the home page. If I click back on the Tasks menu, I'll see the survey that I just corrected, Bohawk National School, is now in the Recently Completed Surveys section. This will send the survey back through the approval process to be either approved or rejected. Some survey deployments will not have approval set up so they will automatically be in the finalized section. If I need to modify a survey that has already been submitted, I can click on it from the recently completed surveys. After clicking on the survey, I can click Edit Response, and I can modify the survey response. I'm going to change the name from Frank to Jane. Now I've successfully modified the response. Some survey administrators will deactivate this function after the survey response has been finalized so that data doesn't change after it's been approved. After editing the response, the survey will go back into pending status to make sure that the changes are approved. That concludes this lesson on managing survey responses. We covered saving a survey response to draft, deleting a survey response, completing a draft survey response, submitting a survey response, modifying a submitted survey response, and correcting a rejected survey response. Thank you for watching.